It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. Two teams that have won once and are here today to decide who moves on in our competition to the semifinals. Let's meet today's elementary school competitors. First from Cherokee Lane Elementary School, would you please say hello to Haley Cortez, Owen Renberg, and Favor Awakwe. And from Judith P. Hoyer Montessori School, would you please say hello to Daniel Miller. Naomi Edwards and Paul John Cruz. And now, here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green Things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body Systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, our game board is arranged according to the question difficulty. Easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points. Tougher ones, 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And to the two rounds today, one of these two teams is headed to the semifinals. Let's make sure everything works properly before we start. Owen, give that buzzer a push. All right, looks and sounds good. Good luck to you and to Favor and to Kaylee. And Naomi, how about the green teams? Looks A-OK. -okay. Good luck to you, to Paul and Daniel. All right, guys, first of all, congratulations. You made it this far in the competition. Cherokee Lane, you've never made it this far. Judith P. Hoy, you've never been on Science Bowl before this year. So you guys have really made a mark for yourself already this year. So uh, we're proud of you. Let's have a good game today. We go alphabetically C before J. So Cherokee Lane and Owen, let's play this bowl. Green things for 15, please. Green things for 15 points. Teams on television, Purdue says its chickens do not get fed any antibiotics, rather they are given thyme and oregano because they are antibacterials. Thyme and oregano belong to what kinds of green plants? Yeah, Naomi. Herbs. herbs. They are herbs, absolutely right. Thank you, Paul, for your assist. All right, go Naomi. Um, zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, even great white sharks, will flee an area of the ocean if they detect that these top predators of the ocean, called the wolves of the sea, are nearby. Hoyer. Killer whales. Killer whales, the orcas, yeah. Even a great white shark starts to shake and hightails it. Go green. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. In Shakespeare's play Hamlet, Hamlet talks to his departed friend Yorick. That's a skull in his hand. A skull is composed of two parts, the cranium at the top and the bottom part called the mandible, which is otherwise known as the what? Owen! Jaw. The jaw, that's exactly right. All right, red, go. Science potpourri for 10, please. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, the opposite of antibiotics are these that, yeah, Owen? Biotics? Say it again. Biotics? No. Hoyer, the opposite of antibiotics are these that people get when they eat Wait. yogurt, for Wait. instance. Can I pass it to Paul? You may. Probiotics? Probiotics is the opposite of antibiotics. Absolutely right. Nice try there, Owen. Naomi, go. Um, let's get physical for five. Get physical for five points. Teams, it sounds like Creatures from Game of Thrones, white dwarfs and red giants. They're not find in, found in Game of Thrones. Where would you find those? Space. Where's that? Space. Space, yes, indeed. They're different kinds of stars. They'd be up in the sky. Okay, green, you're on a roll. Um, green things for 10. 
green things for 10 points. Teams, this is a little pun here. When you're on the science bowl, it's good to have plants sitting next to you because they have all the anthers. The an answers. Okay, Owen. Anthers? No. Judith Hoyer, it's good to have plants next to you on the science bowl because they have all the anthers. The anthers being the part of the flower that contain these grains. Pollen. Pollen grains, that's it. Okay, go. Hoyer. Um, zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. Teams, you've all probably read the book The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It's a nice book. Well, there's a dark side to that. When very hungry caterpillars run out of green things to eat, they eat each other, which is known as this. Cherokee Lane. Cannibalism. Cannibalism. Cannibalism, that's right. Ugh. Go, Owen. Zoo Parade for 15, please. Zoo Parade for 15 points. Teams, this second stage in an insect's development means ghost. What is the name of that second stage in an insect's development? Hoyer. Pupa. Not pupa. Cherokee Lane, the second stage in an insect's development, the word actually means ghost. What is it? Larva. Larva. That's it. Good comeback. Go. Body systems for 10, please. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, the adrenal glands are so named because they sit on top of these paired renal organs. Cherokee Lane. Kidneys. Kidneys, yeah, those are the renal organs. Yes, sir. Go. Send potpourri for five, please. Potpourri for five points. Teams, other than the elephant and the rhino, the biggest, heaviest animal on earth has a kid's game named a hungry, hungry Hippo. what, Hoyer? Hippo. Hippo. Hippo, that's it. Go. Green. Um, I like the smiles over there. Go. Dateline science for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, this is this year marks the 75th anniversary of the publication of the book about this curious primate. George. Curious George. Curious George. That's it, Judy Hoyer. Good. Go. Come on, Kaylee in favor. Let's help Owen. Jump on that buzzer. Go, Naomi. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, if you watch The Simpsons, you know that Homer and Marge live on a street that is named for the kinds of trees like firs and pines. Springfield. Springfield. No, not Springfield. Remember the category, green things. Cherokee Lane, The Simpsons live on what street that is named for the kinds of trees like firs and pines that keep their leaves all year long? Evergreens. They live on Evergreen Street. Yep. All right, then the buzzer says the first round is over. Boy, that was fast. Our score right now, it's close. Cherokee Lane 90, Hoyer 110, round two coming up. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. You know, if you didn't see the games earlier this season, you missed these young people when they were here the first time and they won the privilege to be back. So let's introduce them to you now. Let's go over to Cherokee Lane. And Owen, oh, nice to have you back. You're wearing those matching shirts over there. Owen, oh, you're a great competitor. You got some good moves over there. I love those shirts. You got a microscope on there. And what's the mo uh, mascot at Cherokee Lane? A jaguar. Jaguar, yeah. And Cherokee Lane, you guys had never won before. And here you are, headed toward possibly the semifinals. So you're doing everything right there. I know you've been practicing. You're getting ready for this show. Tell me about Cherokee Lane. Where is it in Prince George's County? It's down near... It's it's in the um it's near it's near like Adelphi. Absolutely. And it's on Cherokee Lane, right? That's the name of the street. Who's your principal? Miss Hardy. Miss Hardy. She's out there rooting for you. And who's the sponsor or sponsors of your team? We have Miss Hoffner and Miss St. John. Wonderful. And they'll be out in just a few moments and they are wearing matching shirts. So you really have the team spirit going on. Any alternates on your team, Owen? We have Chantel. Chantel, she'll be out in a moment. Uh, Tell me about uh, what you like to do at Cherokee Lane. Are there any extracurricular activities that you like to get, other than Science Bowl? I like to do Robotics Club, and that's really it. No, that's more than enough, because obviously you're getting good grades, you're a great student, and you're doing other things, so uh, keep it up. You're a good captain, good captain. What do you want to do someday? Race car driver, still? Yeah. Yeah, I can see you behind the wheel. You want to go fast, huh? Got it. Favor, nice to have you back again. Tell us the Favor story. What's your, uh, what's your favorite thing to do? Yeah, be, like play sports. Yeah, and what sports do you like? Soccer. Soccer, and I know you play on a team right now, right? Would you like to be a professional soccer player? No. 
Manchester United, no, nothing mm -hmm. like that. What do you want to do? Well, I said I want to become a pediatrician. Pediatrician, yeah. So uh, working with young people. And you do have younger siblings at home, don't you? Yeah. You're a good player. You're a good player. And Kaylee, tell us about yourself. And we were talking earlier about your interest in the law and medicine. How would you get interested in those professions? Well, it goes, um, I know how I watch a lot of Netflix and a lot of shows like Grey's Anatomy yes. is about surgeons, so I got interested in that. And I like watching cooking shows, so I'm interested in being a chef, owning a restaurant, things like that. <laughs> Depends on where the channel stops and you yeah. see something. And you know, we're all inspired by different things and it's hard to choose one. It really yeah. is. But you know, you can have multiple things. You can have a, a varied career. So do all the things you want to do. Thank Don't give you. up. A, you're welcome. Don't give up on any of those dreams. Let's go over to Judith P. Hoyer and Naomi. First time ever, Judith Hoyer Montessori on Science Bowl. We've waited 32 years for you guys here. You've made a wonderful debut here. Tell me about your school. It's here in the Landover area. Yes. And your principal? Um, our principal is Ms. Spivey White, and she, we just recently hired a assistant principal, Mr. Sean Malbon. He's a wonderful man. I met him, too, at the beginning of the school year. And Ms. Spivey White, she's just a, she could power everybody's uh, lights here in the city because of her energy. She's just got it. She is a wonderful advocate for students and teachers alike. Tell me who your, your, your coach is. Um, Ms. Strong is our coach. Absolutely. A former uh, Teacher of the Year nominee. Terrific educator as well. And give us the six, uh, the three uh, alternates you have. The first names. Um, we have Maya, Chinway, and Imani. Wonderful. They'll be out in just a few moments here. And what are some things you do at Hoyer other than be on Science Bowl and be a great student? I um, do musical theater because we have a musical theater club at my school. And I like to help other people with their work at my school because we are in Montessori school. So you're like a peer tutor. You're helping other students. I think that's wonderful. And you're doing a nice job, too, as the captain over there. And Daniel, nice to have you here. You told me earlier on the last show you wanted to be a biologist, mm -hmm. and you also wanted to do some investing. You want to be an investor, yeah? Mm -hmm. How would you get interested in investing? Well, at first, I was thinking about how I can get more m money be being in a different job. Yes. But now I realize I can help other people by investing in their companies. Yeah, absolutely right. And the money makes the world go round. We need smart investors and people who care about other people. And you come from a family of educators. Yeah. Your, your mother in charge of the, the science department here and your dad is a principal. Do you ever think about being a teacher? Not really. Not really. <laughs> you, know, you see how hard they work and maybe, uh, maybe some other alternatives appeal more. Thanks, Dan. Paul, nice to have you back. Archaeologist someday, yeah? Yeah. Have you seen Raiders of the Lost Ark and all the sequels? Um, I never actually watched Indiana that's, that's Jones. Not, you know, uh, uh, Kaylee likes Netflix. You ought to get those movies about Indiana Jones and he's always looking for the Temple of Doom and things of that sort. So archaeology, but you're interested in how people lived before, yes? Yeah. Yeah. What do you do in your spare time? Um, I use, um, I do band and karate and sometimes I just go and read history. Yeah, you sounds like you, you don't waste a lot of time. You're making use of all of your time, and that's important. Thank you, Paul. Let's get back into the game. Are you ready, Owen? Yes. Got that trigger finger ready to go? Naomi, are we ready? Yes. All right. Draw. Okay, here we go. Last correct answer came from the red team. So, Owen, let's go. Green things for 20 points, please. Green things for 20 points. You could go into the lead with this correct answer here. Teams, it's been found that street lights adversely affect pollination, which means plants can't make these that they need. They can't make what that they need because pollination's affected, Naomi. They can't make food. Not food. Cherokee Lane, because these street lights adversely affect pollination in plants, plants can't make these that they need. Nectar? Seeds. Seeds. They can't make seeds for the next generation. Go again. Red. Body systems for 15, please. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, if you get a new iPhone 8, there is an HD display that is named for this photosensitive layer at the back of your eye. Retina. Naomi. The retina. The retina. That's right. The retinal HD display on these new iPhones. Go green. Thank you, Paul. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, the Cassini spacecraft 
took a beautiful photograph of the E-ring of this planet before it crashed into the planet. Owen. Saturn. Saturn, that's what I want. Good answer. Go red. Zoo parade for 20, please. Zoo parade for, uh, zoo parade for 20 points. All right, teams. We know that there are nocturnal animals that do most of their things at night, and the diurnal animals do things during the day. But there's another group of animals called crepuscular animals that are most active at dawn and this time of day. And Hoyer. dusk. 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 That's what I want to hear. The twilight. Good. Go. Um, let's get physical for 10. Get physical for 10 points. Teams, a material that is highly combustible can do this very easily. Owen. Explode. Explode. Judges? Yes, explode or burn. Good. Go red. Let's get physical for 15. Get physical for 15 points. Teams, uh, I know Kaylee is interested in being a chef. If you have a cookbook and it's written by a chemist, the recipe might say, add a pinch of NaCl, which is the formula for what chemical? You're going to add a pinch of what to the recipe? Judith Hoyer. Nitrogen. Not nitrogen. A, pin, a pinch of NaCl. That's the chemical formula for what that you're going to add to the recipe. A pinch of salt. A pinch of salt. Yeah, I mean, I thought maybe that one would be easier for you. Go red. Sign potpourri for 15, please. Potpourri for 15 points. Get your spelling caps on. If someone gives you a diamond or an emerald, you have a J-E-W-E-L. You've got a jewel. But if you are a scientist, there is a unit for measuring heat and energy called a joule. Spell that joule. Can I pass it huh? to Paul? You may. J-A-U-L-E. Say it again. J-U-L-E. Good try, not quite. Cherokee Lane, can you spell joule, the scientific unit of energy and heat? It's not J-E-W-E-L, it's a homonym. Could you spell this jewel, Owen? I'd like to pass it to favor. You may indeed. J-U-I-L-E. Good, correct spelling was J-O-U-L-E. You came close, Paul, you came close. Go red. You're still behind by a few points, but you got lots of points up there. Come on, Owen. Dateline signs for 20 points, please. Dateline signs for 20 points. It is a visual question. Look at the picture in the studio, please. They have just discovered a new species of tree-dwelling rodents. There's one right there. It can hardly see. Its vision is terrible. So in order to detect what's going on around it, it uses what same method as bats. Foyer. Echolocation. Got it. Echolocation. Go. Green. Um, Dayline signs for 15. Dayline signs for 15 points. Te doctors now say that mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation is not needed if you're performing this heart compression procedure. CPR. Hoyer. CPR, yeah. Come on, guys, you know that, you know that. Go Hoyer, go green. Um, body systems for 20 points. Body systems for 20 points. All right, teams, if you sit on an airplane for 14 hours, you're flying from the Middle East to D.C., if you don't stand up, you could develop DVT, deep vein thrombosis, which means one of these could form in a vein in your leg. What could form in a vein in your leg if you don't get up and walk around? DVT. Owen. A clot? You got it. Blood clot. Good. Go. Science potpourri for 20, please. Science potpourri for 20 points. Teams, on a mountain, the side where the wind blows is called the windward side. The side where the wind doesn't blow is called this side. That's the leeward side. Windward and leeward. Go again, red. Green things for 25, please. Green things for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, legumes, like peanuts, can take this gas directly from the air, the same gas that bubbles up in blood vessels in scuba divers that surface too fast. Name that gas for 25 points, Cherokee Lane. Carbon dioxide? No, sir. Judith P. Hoyer. The gas that legumes like peanuts can pull directly from the air. Same gas that forms in blood vessels if someone who's scuba diving surfaces too fast. Uh, oxygen? Nitrogen. Nitrogen bubbles. Good again, please. Nitrogen fixation. Go red. Let's get physical for 20, please. Get physical for 20 points. Teams, what same L-initialed word 
could be a blood-sucking parasite or the method by which you pull minerals from a rock. Leech, leech. Cherokee Lane. Leech. Leech is right. Good. Go red. Thank you, Kaylee. Sue prayed for 25, please. Sue prayed for 25. The big one in that category is as follows. A multiple choice question. Listen carefully to the choices. When baby birds are hatched, some of them come out, they're blind and they're helpless. Other baby birds, when they come out of the egg, like ducks and chickens and turkeys, they're ready to rock and roll as soon as they come out. Are those that come out and can do everything right away known as fraternal birds, altricial birds, or precocial birds? Owen? Precocial birds? Precocial because they are precocious. They can do things sooner than is expected. Red, good, go. Um, we didn't get our points and we they got We will give the points, points to you. Just, okay. just, uh, uh, we appreciate that you're keeping tabs on us and the judges are rectifying God, that. All right, Cherokee Lane, you may choose again. Body systems for 25, please. Body systems, 25 points, big one in that category. Teams, your breastbone has a little piece down here called the xiphoid process. It is made, not of bone, but the same material that makes up your ears and your nose. Uh, Cherokee Lane. Cartilage. Cartilage, yes, sir. Good. Red. Let's get physical for 25, please. Let's get physical for 25 points. Two-part answer. Listen carefully. Waxing and waning of a moon when light is increasing or decreasing occurs between what two phases of the moon? Between what two phases do we see waxing and waning, increasing and decreasing amounts of light on the moon? What two phases? Be ready, Cherokee Lane, in case I have to come to you. What you got? Nothing. All right, Cherokee Lane, but what, between what two phases do we see various shades of the moon? New moon and full moon? You got it. That's what I wanted. New and full. Good. Red. Sign potpourri for 25, please. Potpourri for 25 points. Teams, listen carefully. I'm going to need a name. Listen carefully to this. We know that we've had recent hurricanes. There was Maria. Take note. Nate. A new tropical storm. Ophelia, the next one would be named what? Give me a possible name for the next storm. Hoyer. Patrick. Patrick, yes indeed. Any P initialed man would have fit that, that name, that answer. All right, last question of the game, 25 points. Dateline science, listen carefully. In the movie, Hidden Figures, African American women came up with calculations to make sure that this man, the first American to orbit the Earth, came back safely. Who was he? Who was he? Watch Hoyer. This. What you got? John Glenn. John Glenn. It is John Glenn. Absolutely right. And that means our game is over. Okay, we're going to check the score. We will be right back. Stay with us. And welcome back. Games on Science Bowl don't get any closer than this, and we don't have any finer students than the, game, the students who played our game today. Look at that final tally. Down to the last question. Cherokee Lane, 225. Judy P. Hoyer, 230. So by the barest of margins, Judith P. Hoyer, you're on to the semifinals. <laughs> Daniel, Naomi, and Paul, and all the alternates back there. Maya, and Imani, and Chinwe, and Miss Strong, and Miss Spivey White, congratulations. You weren't supposed to be here this year, and look what happened. You're going to the semifinals. And Cherokee Lane, you've never made it this far before, ever. And Owen, I know it's going to hard to smile because you really want to win. You want to drive fast and you want to win. You won today in our hearts, and we really appreciate everything you did in favor. And Kaylee, yes. Chantel, Miss St. Jean, Miss Hoffner, you couldn't have done any better. And uh, we hope you come back and play again, and we hope to see you on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye.